Lord Mohammed presides. It is effective that you have chosen to call upon this stream of energy called Muhammad. I am the one referred to as the Prophet Muhammad. I take no glory in this title for I am worthy only through the service I came to perform for the one. There are still today many whose consciousness remains in the store room where thinking creates divisiveness. I did not come to dispense teachings that created division, but to engender oneness, a recognition of the unity of all, notwithstanding the diversity of expression. I desired to dispel disunity and fragmentation. by enlightening the followers to open their minds to the cordial views of one. There is no discrepancy in my teachings. It is only the minds of the followers who expressed my teachings through their unique interpretative ways. Man must move away from his secular thinking and from the expression of duality. He cannot progress his life if he continues to discriminate amongst the wealth of wisdom which each teacher bestowed in the name of God. The light is never divided 
The light is always one and whole. <laughs> it is the thinking of man that is divided. He needs to cast his brothers in iniquity to see in terms and views of inferiority and superiority. He cannot fathom the truth of unified thought and oneness born from the whole Man continues essentially to perjure his soul by denying the one, the one in all, and the all in the one. Recent endeavors by many who come in the light again are making waves throughout your planet as the consciousness of many are being stirred to awaken to the essence of the whole. But by large there is still prejudicial thinking. For it is difficult for many to relieve themselves of the catastrophic ways brought upon them by those who seek to control their minds. Man must prosper ahead during these times for little does the collective appreciate the momentum of changes that beholds the world. It is time for each to release his mind from the olden ways of thought and to begin to repattern his thinking in alignment with truth. He cannot continue to assume truth but must know it through his experiences of his divine self. Join with the brotherhood and be determined to raise your awareness else indeed your consciousness shall never grow and your experience shall remain earthbound. It is only your consciousness that has the power to deliver you. There is no one else who can. You seek the light in all the wrong places. The Master's come to sit with you, to show you the way, but your eyes remain glazed. I, the one you call Muhammad, I come in the light of the same source 
which burst the one called Jesus, the one you call Buddha, the one referred to as Krishna, and other beings who have come to serve the one will, for we do not recognize separation, for there is one intent and one purpose. We apply ourselves collectively and individually to serve the truth of the Creator. Why don't you join with us? <laughs> Blessed are the ones who can see beyond the falsities of traditional ways, the short-sightedness of thinking which holds you like glue to that which you hold us and call truth. Uh. Have you progressed in mind? Have your spirit expanded through inner awareness? Have you acquired the greatness of source? Have you let go of the disenchantment of life? Have you relinquished the enmity of spirit? Children, and join with me even now to recognize only the energy of truth. For that is all that exists. The time for patience has run out. The time for momentum is in session. Behold, the Brotherhood walks with you to entertain you even now as you continue to experience greater dilemmas. This is the time that you must reach out and pray for the hand of truth to hold on to you and bring you into its essence. Do not be condemned. Do not allow yourself to be condemned. You have veiled yourself and in so doing covered the truth of your true expression. Remove the veil and begin to experience the dynamism that you preserve within the essence of the soul. The enigmatic energy you refer to as God is but an expression that finds its truth in your field of experience. This energy is ever with thee. You are to draw upon this energy to raise your frequency of thought that you may begin to receive 
divine intelligence. Truth does not hide itself from any save those who ban it from their awareness. You can spend your hours laboring over the texts of old and never will you learn anything more that will enhance your experience as a spiritual being. No, my beloveds, you are to walk through the fields of life and enjoin with your brothers and sisters for there you will find the presence of God. For God is an experience. God is not a being. God is an expression. You are here to express God. Through your experience. For you must in wholeness come to experience a godly life in this physical world. For all that you need, all that you seek rests within your life's expression to be birthed through the human experience. Do not sabotage thyself. Renew your acquaintance with the expression within. Elevate your mind and know that it is in truth elevated. Beloved child, those who seek to desecrate the expression of the One through divided thinking will in time come to see their error. Those who speak in my name and call the name of Allah yet distinctly defies the laws of Allah will be made to see the errors of their ways. Few who have come into the realms on high who were mistaken in their judgment of the teachings whilst on earth now find themselves in a realm of retribution for they have seen the truth and cannot 
retrieve that which they have lost. They are bound by their guilt. They have seen the error of thinking which have caused them to deny truth. The very God they sought to serve has now corrected their thinking. They cannot accept. They live in their own guilt. I shall rest now, return to the ether where my brothers wait. I too stand with you as you speak. Know that I lend you my energy. I am Lord Muhammad, ever still a servant of the One. In brotherhood I depart. Blessed, blessed, blessed.